to this special night, the night that is different than all other nights, the night Jesus gathered with his friends to celebrate Passover and change its meaning forever. Little did they know at that time that that special meal was meant for us today. Please join me in the bulletin with focusing our worship. This night is different from all other nights. Tonight, we join a solemn journey of three days, remembering how they changed the world and our own lives. Followers of Jesus have been taking this journey since his first followers took it long ago. This is a night of love. On that night, Jesus took a towel and a basin and washed his disciples' feet. On this night, he told them to do the same for others, to show their love for him and for one another. This is the night of love. On this night, Jesus broke bread and shared wine with his followers for the last time and invited them to remember him, to encounter him anew whenever they did the same. This is the night of love. On this night, followers of Jesus have welcomed those who have returned to the way of Jesus after a time of wandering. This is a night of love. And so, on this night, we welcome the penitent. All here have wandered. All here are still learning. To join in hearing and obeying the commandment of their master to be servants of all, that we may love one another as he has loved us. Come, ye sinners. Come, ye saints. Come, ye thirsty. Come ye weary, all are welcome to this night of love. Our reading tonight comes from John 13. Hear now. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and to go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing but later you will understand. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you, he asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Very truly I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. A new command I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. This night, I am letting the passage speak to you. This night, 
Jesus set the example far greater than I ever could. So take time, ponder, and consider what Jesus has done for you and hear his message to you. And remember that this is the night of love, the night that Jesus washed his disciples' feet, reversing the roles of master and student, servant and host, and told them and us to do the same, to show the world God's love and theirs. Tonight, consider what it would be like to have Christ at your, at your feet. Consider if you are willing to wash another's feet, obeying Christ's command to love one another as he has loved us. Come, let Christ love you here and now, and may you share that love with others. Please join me in reflecting on the word. O Lord of lords, 
we praise you and give you thanks because you laid aside your power and took upon yourself the form of a slave. You became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. You allowed yourself to be born to die in our place. You allowed our own feet to be anointed for death. You allowed a sinner to wash your feet with their tears. For God chose what is low and despised in the world to bring light to the things that are truly important. Therefore, with the woman who gave you birth, with the woman who anointed you for death, with the women who worshiped you with her tears, and with all other fellow sinners and saints who have loved you and served you from this time till now, we praise you, Lord Jesus. O Eternal Father, blessed is our brother Jesus, who on that night before Passover rose from the supper, laid aside his garments, took a towel and poured water, and washed his disciples' feet, saying to them, If I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Come now, mighty Spirit of God, wash us and make us one body in Christ, that as we are bound together in this act of love, we may no longer be in bondage to the principalities and powers that enslave all creation, but may know your liberating peace, such as the world cannot give. Amen. Go this holy night. Remembering who has washed your feet and who has given you the call to be a servant of all. In this way, you may be blessed. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.